Hello, welcome back. This is Jack with Gadget Factory again, and we're continuing with part two of uh, how to debug internal FPGA logic on the Papilio one, or this actually will work with any FPGA um, using the Open Bench Logic Sniffer. So uh, we were just going over the different states. We might as well take that from the top again. You can tell the different states by looking at the this definition here. There's seven states: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, first one is init, that's where you reset the UART. Next is wait for stop bit. Following that is wait for start bit. This is where you generally idle when you're waiting for a new byte of data to come in. Uh, this is uh, wait begin, wait for your first half of start bit. Receive byte, this is where the, the majority of time is spent because this is the portion of code that actually takes in the 8 bits and uh, stores them and then we have another section analyze and this is specific specific to the logic sniffer code it analyzes what the actual command is that you receive and then we have a final state ready and ready just gives it a little time to wait before it uh, shoots it then cycles back to init okay so you have just kind of a basic overview of what's going to happen um, so let's move on to the next step Okay, so uh, the next kind of background information we need is what pins do we have free in this design? And basically, um, you can look at the UCF file, and the way you do that is you select the UCF file and do edit constraints, and then compare this to, for the Papilio 1, I have a generic UCF file defined, and that tells you what's what and where. So if you look P18, uh, that's wing column A. All of wing column A is used, and all of wing column B is used, P85, um, starting here and down. So you can see that all the inputs use wing column A and B. Then the only other significant thing we really have is arm LED and trigger LED. So let's look where those are, 91 and 92. So in column C, the first two the first two bits are used. So basically what this means is all the rest is available to us. All of the rest of column C is available to us. So we're going to start with uh, the bit 15 of column C and that's where we're, we're going to probe our... we're going to connect to internal logic and that the internal logic that we're going to connect to is the states, the different states. We want to be able to track what state in this finite state machine we're currently at. So each state is actually going to be probed and routed out to wing C. Um, and the way you do that is once you have a synthesized design, you go under implement design, place and route, and you go view slash edit routed design and it's the FPGA editor that will be brought up. Okay, once the FPGA uh, editor is up, then what you do is you click on probes and this is what allows you to connect internal logic to an external pin, a free and open pin. Um, now I've already saved, this is a little time consuming so I've already saved one I've already saved all these definitions let's let it load here for a second okay so all seven states have loaded and this is this can get a little bit tricky you have to be pretty familiar with your design and uh, we know that the net the net corresponds to the internal logic that we want to we want to monitor, um, and the net we know that w w what we're looking at is in the EI two three two receiver section, and um, I'm just about to run out of time here, so I'm going to continue on part three. <laughs> 